Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys some extra uh, tools that I've been leveraging in the market to increase uh, my income, to actually increase my daily income as well as just increasing increasing my profitability in the market. So uh, we're going to talk about that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. You guys know that here on the channel i've showed you guys my my trading strategy which um i'm actually working on an updated version because uh some things have changed as a matter of fact um i'm improving and so i'm finding more tools and finding more ways to uh, make my trading a, a lot more profitable so i'm gonna do an updated a video for you guys uh here um today's video i want to show you guys what i've been doing or explain to you guys another thing that i've been doing with some of the stock that i own already to continue to make profit so let's take for instance lucid which is a stock that we've covered here on the channel and uh, i i give you guys update i tell you guys when i think the stock is going to pull back i tell you guys when the stock i think the stock is going to bounce back and i give you guys my price point so using that being a long-term investor in lucy and i own close about 4,000 shares of Lucid. So what I've been doing so far, I've been writing some cover calls um, in, in options to actually make some extra income. So I know for those of you guys that have no option experience, trust me, um, I'm gonna explain this and I'm gonna start doing videos here on the channel talking more about options as well because I mean, it's, it's just important that if you are in the market, you need to learn all the other tools, not just uh, one, one mind focus, but also diversify your different streams of income because if i'm sitting on 4000 shares of lucid and it's an there's a possibility of me profiting from those shares and not losing any money in, in you know in actually writing those cover calls why not take advantage of it so that's what i'm doing uh and i'm going to explain that to you guys if you currently own um any stock let's say over 100 shares and so this would be something that you want to really consider uh to make profit but again you have to be smart about it you have to understand do some research know when those stocks are going to move and when they're not going to move and it, before you even write those cover calls uh, before we actually jump into that i want to kind of show you guys exactly what those uh cover calls are so so what is a cover call again i'm reading this directly from um webo's website so a cover call a stock strategy consists of writing a call or a put Again, guys, if you don't understand any of this, trust me, we are going to slowly but steadily uh, work together to understand this. And again, my goal is not just to uh, kind of teach you guys, but I want you to understand before you make any of this move. I want you to really understand it and make sure that you are in a position to make the move and feel comfortable about it. So basically a call means that you believe that the price of the stock, uh, uh, it, it's gonna go up a put means that you believe that the price of the stock is going to go down so that is the lamest uh, definition of those two things um and so again let's go back here and just kind of get the definition here so a cover call stock strategy consists of writing a call or a put that is covered by an equivalent long slash short stock position notice that it says you have to have a long or short stock position in this case so let's say for instance lucid I am long with Lucid, so I can write cover calls. I can write uh, a calls or put for in this case. So I can write cover calls for my Lucid stocks that I already own for my long-term shares. So if I, let's say for instance, I, I see that the price of Lucid is gonna go, or this, the stock price of Lucid is gonna go up, then what I can do in this case, I can actually write a cover call um, and say, hey, you know, with a strike, let's say Lucid is currently trading at $25, I can write a cover call up with a strike price of about 30, but I don't anticipate that the price would get to 30. I anticipate that it would get to 27 or 28 and then pull back. So in that case, I'll collect some premium from uh, whoever buys that, that particular call, because when I sell the call, somebody's gonna buy it. So if somebody buys that call and the price never make it to $30, I'll keep that premium at expiration. And so that's some of the stuff that I've been doing and collecting some money on the site. So, 
Again, these are things that if you don't understand them, we're going to go back to the basic. And guys, I want you to leave a comment below. If you don't understand any of this, make sure that you leave a comment below. So we're going to take it uh, again. This is going to be like us um, going to college. We're going to start from day one. This is going to be um, option 101 and we're going to learn along the way. And the, the, again, guys, the whole objective here is you're going to slowly learn. I don't want you to just jump in the fire. We're not going to throw anybody in the fire here. We're going to slowly learn and understand what we need to do and take advantage of the stocks that we, we already own uh, to make some profit. So again, if you don't understand any of this stuff and you're new to this no, just leave a comment below. Let me know. Say, I don't understand. We're going to start. We're going to go do definitions of options. And again, disclaimer, I am not any specialist as far as it comes to option. I am learning just as much as you guys are um, taking advantage of the opportunities in the market. So that is my disclaimer, just so you know. So in this case, why would you sell a cover call, right? So if you have, or uh, let's say stock, again, I'm using Lucid as an example. If you have Lucid stock, um, you have a long-term position in Lucid and you bought it at say $19. And um, there's news that Lucid is gonna pop and you, you do research and say you think that Lucid is gonna get to about $27, $26, $27, right? You can sell $30 cover calls. In this case, you bought it at 19. So even if it gets to 30, the person exercise that call and you lose your shares, you lose 100 shares, but you still make $10 per share along with the premium that that person paid for it. So if you're smart, it is in this case, it's something that you're not gonna lose any money uh, if you actually bought the stocks cheaper and then you write these calls. So I'm gonna show you guys um, uh, just kind of a good example. Here is my one of my, my cover calls that I have. So 200 shares of Lucy. So right now, I'm 52%, I, I can round it up to say 53%, that's about $180 in the money for that particular call. So if I exercise this call right now, I get to keep that much, uh, 180. But I still think that the price is gonna pull back a little bit. So when it gets to um, $200, I would I would exercise that. So that would be giving me at least 200 bucks uh, profit for that particular trade. Again, this is me riding a call against 200 shares of Lucy that I own. And you guys know I own a lot more shares than that. But I'm, I'm, I'm risking those 200 shares, which my average is about $19, to make this extra income. So in this case, this cover calls here were 28, uh, I think $29, um, October 8 cover calls. So I, I know for sure I'm not gonna wait till uh, October 8th. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and sell and close this position and keep a uh, hundred and eighty dollars if I do it right now. But again, like I said, I want it to get to two hundred before I can close it. So that is just a simple way in which you can uh, take what you already have and and make some profit um, off of it. So. Again, I wanted to bring this to you guys and just kind of introduce it. So we're going to go in depth. I'm going to talk about this and, cover and do more with more examples here on the channel. So again, this is something that if you already own the shares, cover calls are a way to go. Um, I know you're probably on YouTube talking about a poor man's cover call, but if you've already spent the money and bought the shares outright and own over 100 shares of any position, definitely look into writing this cause. Um, and just so you know, not all stocks have options. So fine, if you have a uh, 100 shares of a stock that has options, then you can definitely benefit from the cover calls based on the, the, the movement in that particular stock. So for Lucid, when it pulled down, I can I write cover calls for say $28, $29 strike price. When it, if it doesn't get to that strike price, I'll keep the premium at, at expiration. I'll keep that premium and keep my stocks. But if you ever made it to that 28 or 29 and this person wants to get it, and wants to exercise it, then I would make a profit of um, between 20, uh, so 20, $29 minus $19. That's how much I'm going to make per share. And then I keep the premium of that, of whatever that person gave me because I'm going to lose my shares. But you don't have to wait until it, you know expiration. You can actually exercise that or close that position so that you can keep your shares before expiration. So those are some of the, the benefits that I see here. So 
Again, guys, we're gonna go to school here. We're gonna start talking about these option things here on the channel. I'll talk a bit about basically naked call. We'll talk about these cover calls, which I think cover calls are, uh, in my personal opinion, if you own the stocks, are a, a really easy way for you to generate some income uh, without risking um, a lot. Uh, again, this is only for stocks that you don't mind selling them for a profit. Again, if you buy 100 shares of let's say Lucid at $19, and you are okay selling them at $28 or $29 for a profit, then you can totally do that and still get some extra premium. So you, let's say you 200 shares, like, like you see in this case, uh, the example I just showed you, 200 shares, it goes, so I, I put 200 shares, it goes up to 28 or 29. If, if I wait till expiration and this person exercise it, I still make um, eight or nine dollars a share plus the premium of three hundred and forty four dollars that was paid to me by this person so that's something that I want you to kind of have um, at the back of your mind um, before you jump into options so again um, I'm not an expert here so we're gonna learn um, this together so let me know in the comment section if this is something that you guys are interested in we're gonna start covering that here on the channel because I'm definitely doing it on the side and in learning as we go if you guys want I'm gonna be I'm gonna be putting those videos here, sharing with you guys, or even telling when I when I make some cover calls. So like right now, I'm actually looking at Charge Point. Um, again, it's still kind of fluctuating, but Charge Point, I have some calls already, and I'm gonna buy some more because it pulled back. That way, um, again, if anything, you know, if the stock pops, then I benefit from those calls that I I, I bought. So yeah, let me know in in the comment section uh, what you guys think about this. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content. Also guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks, you get free crypto. Again, I'll put the links in the description below. And as always guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage, stay motivated.